Hey, what's up everyone? This is Visual Intelligence and welcome to another exciting graphics tutorial. Today we'll be using Photoshop to achieve this uh, long shadow effect which appears everywhere now in the internet. Um, it would be really uh, cool, really uh, quick and um, I hope you guys will learn uh, new stuff. So, um, Actually there is a lot of ways to do this kind of effect but uh, I found a really nice way and a really really easy way to do it so I wanted to share it with you guys so uh, let's just start uh, create a new document control N or go to file new whatever name it uh, whatever you want oh sorry I, I'm just running out of names so go to file and then place your logo uh, if you use place linked, make sure not to uh, replace your logo uh, image on your computer. But let's go to our layer, right click and then rasterize. Go to your magic wand tool. If you don't have it, click and hold it and this, this menu will pop up. Just use the magic wand tool. So select our logo, hold shift to select multiple areas and we want to fill that with uh, black and since it's our background color control delete and this will do it for us control d to deselect everything let's go to our uh, edit menu and then define brush preset uh, just keep the name really doesn't matter uh, now we want to delete our layer since we don't need it anymore we want some background color uh, i think i'll go ahead and use the Maybe too dark. Uh, I think I'll use this red. Next step is to control R to um, show our ruler. And then what we want to do is we want to click on the top ruler and then drag until it snaps in the middle. And if it doesn't snap, make sure to go to view and then uh, check the snap. Sorry. Go to our side ruler and then do the same thing with the snaps in the middle. Uh, we want just the intersection to know where the exact middle of the um, uh, document to place our logo there. So uh, let's hit brush and this will bring us our brush that we just created. Uh, let's go to our brush menu, decrease the spacing to 1% and then create a new layer hide our brush menu go ahead uh, go to pen tool by hitting P on your keyboard let's click once here and it will make uh, it will generate a point in the exact middle of our document uh, control uh, minus to zoom in zoom out and then hold shift and then click outside of your canvas somewhere uh, around here and this will make a new another uh, point and by holding shift it's just uh, 45 degrees um, now whatever yeah, you guys got the point so uh, let's right click make sure to have a new layer right click and then stroke path use the brush and check the simulate pressure if it's checked and then hit ok um, before you do that make sure to have to click the do have black as your foreground color and do it again and this will create our shadow so the only thing we left to add is our main logo so let's hit B for brush let's hit X to switch between the background and the foreground color and then let's create let's click once somewhere where the shadow start and uh, yeah that's created us created this for us perfectly make sure to have it on a new layer if you if it doesn't uh, like fit make sure to use your uh, move tool and then you can use your keyboard to place it really exact same place you want control H to hide everything we don't want to use uh, any of the guidelines go to our shadow layer and we want to make it as soft light I mean the blending mode 
and this will make it look a little nicer also let's add a layer mask and hit B for brush let's select our soft brush uh, we want really a uh, soft brush with hardness of zero and make sure to click on the uh, layer mask thumbnail and then just click once here and this will make it uh, a little uh, less um, appearing on the end of the shadow uh, make it a little more realistic and uh, yeah and uh, actually that's pretty much it but I'll show you a really nice trick to uh, really change the color if you are not satisfied with it um, beneath everything uh, I mean on the top of every layer add a new hue and saturation layer and then just play with the hue uh, and and if you have this uh, if this um, vector mask appears just uh, go to your properties and then uh, remove it or you can disable it and uh, you can uh, play with the saturation to achieve many colors that you want some of them are really uh, bright so you can decrease the color or the saturation like the lighten lightness whatever you can play with them as you like to really achieve any color you want so um, yeah so that's pretty much it thanks you thank you guys for watching I hope you guys enjoyed uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button for more tutorials I upload uh, weekly so um, thank you for watching uh, just hit like comment and subscribe and see you next week